together for our 30 mile hike that we're going to do next weekend. I'm going to flip it around and show you what Mike has for his food bag in one of the days and he's got some calories that he's been, uh, he's documented just to kind of show where things are at and then I'll show you what I have on my layout for the, for the few days. So I will turn this around here. This is how we kind of break things down. We try to break it down, what we're going to eat in the morning as we walk in the morning we don't tend to stop for lunch but you know as we're walking midday afternoon walking uh, and then in the evening so this lets you know what's in your food bag what you're supposed to be eating but also gives you a breakdown of forces you to eat this also gives you an idea of what things are worth you know a couple of cliff bars that's 520 calories we use these maxim coffees um, that early riser turned us on to it's a Korean company it's got milk and sugar all mixed in 110 calories uh, that's what 220 calories worth of Swedish fish looks like we'll have a bar at some point during the day uh, these are I don't remember 120 calories peanut M&Ms midday uh, that is what it's no wonder we're fat that's like a half a hang handful so that's what 280 calories is worth there. Cashews, 320 calories. Some gum for during the day just to keep your mouth going. That's a little planter's mix, like a gorp type deal. Um, that's 280 calories worth. Some Swedish fish, again for the afternoon. 220 calories. A Snickers or a payday, 240, 250 calories. These little dried Slim Jims that we found at the UGO for a buck for three sticks and that's worth uh, what did we say that's worth 130 calories that afternoon we don't we usually have ramen I prefer ramen but we had these so we're gonna try them the so teriyaki chicken um, this is about 600 calories It's two servings 300 of each um, but I'm not gonna have that I'm gonna have beef stew that's right beef stew that night about 500 calories and then two wraps to go with the beef stew so that'll be my food for the day we bought some Gatorade uh, try to get electrolytes in it's awfully heavy we got to see where our food weight is at we may or may not pack that that up and go but this day's worth that totals out to about 3300 calories which is more than enough to keep us going and We'll break it down day by day, pack it up. We have a day one and two bag, and a day three and four bag, and then those will get hung in. Put in here for our pack, and then we'll show you probably somewhere on the trail, hanging those up, either on a bear cable or we have our own system. So that's how we break it down. Char's got hers all neat and organized. So I'll be doing the same thing, uh, Cliff Bar and coffee for breakfast. This is my walk around, uh, something my in my pocket my hip belt to just munch on i love the sugar stuff so like i've got jolly rancher hard candy with a piece of gum gobstoppers and gummy worms this is going to be part of my lunch with a little goo energy drink uh, energy shot protein bar and then for uh also in my pack for um in my hip belt i'll eat um so he's just teriyaki um, beef jerky and then I've got Snickers bar and then for um, for dinners I've got packet gourmet this is one of my birthday presents thank you Ron and Deb um, so I've got uh, that's what I'm gonna do and then I like my extra hot sauces and some wraps to go with uh, the chili and the uh, fajita chicken and then tea bags for nighttime just to have something to eat. So that's what we've got. I'm gonna do the same thing that Mike did. Do day one and two in a bag and day three, four in a bag. Um, I didn't really have breakfast. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna be off trail by the dinner um, day four. So that's what that looks like. I decided that since I'm packing tonight anyways that I might as well show you guys and our future selves what we are doing right now for our miscellaneous bag as well as my clothes setup. You guys saw our food just a second ago um, 
and uh, I think that's pretty dialed in. I'll be interested to see how much food we have left over after the four days. But I'm going to switch this around just so you can see what we've got going on for our miscellaneous, um, just extra stuff that does not include my backpack or our sleep system. Um, but the miscellaneous bag of, well, you'll see it in a second, it's just kind of your odds and ends um, of like first aid and what I carry, which actually is a few pounds extra of just stuff to be able to live out there. Um, and then I'm also going to show you my clothes. So here you go. All right. So this is my cook kit. Um, that is... I can't remember right now, but one of my favorite pieces of gear that we carry that I got my last year for uh, for my birthday was a Gossamer Gear Spoon, and that thing is super lightweight, and it's fantastic. I really, really like that. Um, I try to carry just a little bag of toilet paper either for tissues for my nose or so that I can pee um, and step off trail, pee, and I don't have to go digging into my entire bag for my full toilet paper and stuff. So I try to carry um, just a little thing of toilet paper in my hip pocket just so that I have that uh, really quickly and easily accessible. So our toothbrushes, um, this is our quart bag that we use for our phone that we also keep in our hip belt of our backpack. Um, this is a piece of Tyvek that's pretty long that I put underneath my hammock so that I can uh, step on it. It's a little, little floor mat. Um, it's pretty big. It's probably like, uh, I don't know, whatever that is, three feet by five feet or something, three by four or whatever. Um, this is some Zingit that Mike made up with um, Dutch clips, I believe, uh, for a backpack holder for around the tree. That's pretty nifty. Um, these are water drops. Um, we have this for water filtration, and then we also use a Sawyer pump, the big one, not the mini, that we have a um, gravity system hooked up to that's really convenient. We like that a lot. Mike made that. Um, well, sh I think that's in a different video as well. This is my first aid kit. Um, some ibuprofen, some aspirin if anybody ever has a heart attack out there, some of my green allergy pills, and then Mike's um, high blood pressure, and then just just a few odds and ends, some little stuff that we, that we need. Um, and then this is Mike's eye juice for his contacts. Some monkey butt, um, and here is some matches and a needle. I need to find a better case. This is too bulky. It used to be in here, but I put a, um, I took that out and put a thing of a little thing of lotion in in here um, because my skin gets pretty dry out there. So thanks, mom. Your lotion's going with me on this trip. Some body glide, bug spray. I know it's deep, whatever. It is what it is. Hopefully it keeps all the bugs and the ticks away from us. In here is one of my favorite gears as well, uh, gear items as well. This is uh, some cotton balls in petroleum jelly and they are the best fire starters ever. They last for, for a ridiculous amount of time. It's really not, um, I could probably find a smaller one, but whatever, it works and it fits all okay. Um, and that's fantastic. And this is my headlamp, which I love. It is the Black Diamond. Um, this is a miscellaneous comfort item. This is um, an Eno, uh, like little Christmas lights for my for my hammock. I'm sure you guys have seen that in other videos if you've watched. Flashlight. Um, this is probably a lot bigger than I need as well, but it is what it is. Um, this is my little notebook journal um, with a pen that has my chickadee, my trail name um, on that. Um, that I just use that for a trail journal. So what we do and what we see, um, I just I just use that. It's again, like I said, it's, I could probably use a smaller one, but that's okay. Um, and then a Kershaw a little knife. Um, I don't I don't use it too much, but if I need it, it's nice to have. These are stakes for our tarp. Um, they're super lightweight. This is my bathroom um, bag. It's a du uh, an, uh, 
deuce of spades. <laughs> it's a titanium, super lightweight. That's our little, if you got to dig a hole, you got to dig a hole. And then I have hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and some wipes in here. And all of this beautiful stuff gets put into this stuff sack that Mike made. Um, and it's usually about somewhere between three and a half pounds. Um, I've got a little bit of extra stuff in there today, right now, um, but I'll show you a picture of it all kind of put together. The only th all right, and here is my clothes are my clothes all spread out right now. Um, this is what I wear while I'm on trail. I've got a pair of ex officio underwear, sports bra, darn tough socks, a buff, a half buff, or a headband buff, and then just a t-shirt. And I like to walk in uh, yoga leggings that come all the way down. Um, I just feel the most comfortable, even if it's warmer out. And then, so that's what I, that's what I will wear. I have, just in case, one extra pair of socks, one extra underwear, one extra shirt. Um, I do not anticipate that I will use those, but I might if it gets rain, if we get rained on or um, I get really sweaty and stinky. Well, especially to, to probably change out my socks and my underwear probably on day three. So um, I don't know if I'll use my shirt. And then when I get into camp, I take off all of my sweaty clothes. Those are disgusting. I want them off. <laughs> Let them hang up. And then what I do is I change immediately into a tank top that is a built-in bra, a pair of shorts and our Under Armour. Um, and that's usually what I hang out in camp in while we set up camp, while we get all of our uh, priorities of work all taken care of, like getting water, maybe getting firewood, taking care of um, putting our hammocks up, whatever else we need to do. And then when it starts getting a little bit chillier, uh, this is a long sleeve, um, just Walmart brand, um, long sleeve um, uh, shirt that will go right over this. Um, I'll keep these on. This is my next layer to go on. Then I have a Patagonia a pair of pant, uh, sleeping pants that go on. Um, and then another pair of Darn Tough. Those are my, uh, my socks that I sleep in. Um, and then usually I will um, put another, this is a really long wool um, buff that I'll put on as like a, a like around my neck um, just to kind of keep me warm. And then I keep my hat above me on my ridge line on my hammock just in case I need it so that it's easily accessible. And then this is just the last piece of gear that I use for clothing um, is just a puffy um, that I don't even know. I don't even think it's just a, a whatever knockoff brand. It's fine. Keeps me warm. That's all that I need. And that's it. My only other gear, piece of gear that I'm going to bring this trip that I don't usually bring is a hat. Um, if it does rain, having a hat like that is very convenient just to keep the rain out of your eyes and off your face. Keep you from having to wipe like the sweat in your hand on the sweat of your brow. Um, that's really convenient. So that's it. Um, and everything for my uh, my clothes um, that this will all also fit into this stuff sack that Mike made as well. All right, friends, and for the record, we will be doing a three night, four day, thirty mile backpack section of the Appalachian Trail beginning at Albert Mountain, mile marker 100, on the AT and walking south back to, oops, I'm sorry, and we'll be walking south back to top of, Mount, uh, top of Georgia shelter.